Hello, beautiful Capricorns. This is your top secret cross watchers video. What your person thinks, feels, intends, and their overall view of everything that's happening between you. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look at the overall energy. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. Okay. This is now, of course, their energy, right? Because this is your cross watching. Um, this is how they feel about you. They're going to be fearless and bold. Uh, they are going to be in their power, reclaim their power. I don't think this person has to reclaim their power because they have a lot of power or they perceive it that way. You may have more power than they do, but they still feel comfortable. Time for a beginner mind. Okay. So I'm viewing this for this, for those of you who are watching Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus of Capricorn. Remember, it's a general reading. It can be vice versa. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your reading. So go check out one of your other, you know, Rising Moon or Venus. Because I see this as a fairly new relationship. I'm not seeing this as one that is really, really deep and long in terms of the period of time you've been together. I'll explain as I go. This person is about passion. <laughs> We've got the Queen of Wands, passion, but we have the Eight of Wands. So your person really in the past has been very physical. It's about communication. It's about sexy texts. It's about let's go have fun. Let's go do run play, you know, really a uh, very free, very let's, you know, let's burn the candle at both ends kind of energy, make love all night, text all day. You know, really it's all about having fun. This person is, this card is my getting to know you, getting to know all about you. There's a little song, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Okay, I'm not a singer, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, the Six of Wands, they want a victory with you. I will tell you as a reader, I do not always like this card. And I'll tell you why, because that is a little bit of a, there's a bit, again, three cards of passion, getting to know you, but not really getting to know you getting to know maybe your physical nature, <laughs> your sensual nature, but this is more about the passion and getting to know you in that specific way. Is this person invested in the relationship self? They're holding back. They're just holding back. Are they thinking that they could be invested in you? Yes, absolutely they do. They see you as already being a little bit, you're, you're ahead of them. They feel as though you're very invested. This is Aries energy. They feel as though, you know, this is, and, and the heart of wands is a queen, you know, that's the Aries queen. Uh, seven of coins, they think that you're invested fully, full speed ahead, you've said yes. You know, they haven't though. I get how they feel in their heart space, very romantic. We have the beautiful, handsome Knight of Cups energy. Uh, I always like to call it like Lance Romance, sweeping in, bringing flowers, making a romantic picnic. And again, you know, this is very sweet energy. You know, it's um, it's Piscean energy. It's, it's living in fantasy to some degree. But the Wheel of Fortune, good news right here in their heart space. Something's about to change. I do feel as though this person could have been dating other people. And I feel as though you may not have known that, unfortunately. I, I don't like to say that to you because that would be hurtful or painful for you. But the Three of Swords says that, it says one of two things, that your person either is still heartbroken and, and has a wounded heart from someone in the past for whom they're still carrying a flame somebody who left them behind and somebody whom they haven't really given up on yet. The two of wands, however, is really great because it says that this person is at a crossroads. The fork in the road is here. They're going to take back their spirit. They're coming in fearless and bold with you, which we've seen already here. And it's time for beginner spirit, which is like the fool card. So what I'm seeing here for you is that I would say within a very short period of time, 
that um, your person is going to stop feeling pulled to the past. They're going to let go of this energy of being brokenhearted from somebody who came before you, somebody whom they've been carrying a torch for, somebody they may have worked with, somebody who may have been married to somebody else. They might have been single dating a married person. But what we see here is they're ready to have a beginner's mindset, which is a full card, which is a new beginning with you, Capricorn. So the Two of Wands says that they are at the fork in the road. They are willing to work and collaborate on a relationship with you. They are releasing this energy with this card, the Eight of Cups. We see someone who is finally leaving a wounded heart from the past in the past. We have two Three of Coins. That's all about collaboration. That's Capricorn energy, my friends. That's you. You're sitting right here in the reading. We also get the Capricorn uh, Four of Pentacles, which is your person holding back still. But look at what we see in the heart space. They feel as though you could be their twin flame. They feel this is number 22, the Naked Heart Tarot. This doesn't exist in any other tarot deck that I own, and I own a few. Um, but this is Twin Flames energy. They feel as though this could go one of two ways. They could feel as though they had to leave a Twin Flame behind, but I don't, I'm not seeing it that way at all. I feel as though this energy is be re being released here and that this energy that is saying that they're letting go of a broken heart is being released and I see you as the new uh, new adventure, new beginner mindset. They're still not gonna rush ahead. They're still gonna hold back a little bit. The Four of Coins though also says they wanna hold on to you. They definitely want to hold on to you. We have the Emperor card. They see you as really high value person that you're really you're elegant you know your stuff the energy is very beautiful but there's so much passion here but the outcome is look at this a chariot card that is a cancer that's cancer energy you know the heart space is all about the emotions the king of cups is about his emotions you know the naked heart is about really falling in love so this person is in the near future going to move very rapidly towards you and they're going to let go of the burdens of the past and move towards you um, in a much more significant way. So sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, Capricorn, tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye.